Developing this morning, Florida's Education Commissioner now asking school districts to make mask wearing optional starting next school year. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella is taking a deeper look at how this could impact families all across the state. In his letter, Commissioner Richard Corcoran says that data shows that districts face covering policies do not impact the spread of the virus, but he also offers no data to back that up. Corcoran also says broad sweeping mandatory face covering policies serve no remaining good at this point in our schools. He goes on to say face covering policies negatively impact peer to peer learning in classrooms and instruction for students with disabilities and English language barriers. However, we have already seen school districts like Pasco County making adjustments to help with this. The district ordering 1,000 of these hybrid masks for bus drivers. They're worn the same as a cloth mask, but they use a clear shield over the mouth. The true function and the, and the comfort of the mask, um, people have really embraced. We checked in with Tampa Bay area districts, and so far, Pasco Superintendent Kirk Browning states he is optimistic that mask and face coverings will not be necessary in the fall and that the school district will be able to transition to a mask optional status. We also took a deeper look look at some studies already done on kids and mask wearing in schools. Speech therapists have told us the pandemic could cause delays in childhood development. They say they've already been seeing signs of delayed speech, likely caused by mask covering so much of adults' faces. Doctors say children learn a lot of language in the beginning by watching and imitating mouth movements. But according to the CDC, masks are highly effective in stopping the spread of COVID-19. They also say they've seen higher rates of transmission of the virus in schools that don't have mandatory mask mandates. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.